Hello and welcome to Tech Gainers. My name is Chandra and I'm a technology explorer. Today's topic for the video is what to OIDC redirect URLs or redirect URIs we can say but it depends on how we configure it. It could be a URI or it could be a URL. So we'll see a hands-on demo and then within that I will explain you what are redirect URLs. So I'm logged into Key Clock right now you can see i'm in the master realm and we are at clients so we can click on create client okay so for this demo i will give the name as auth code flow demo okay so here we can save it will not change anything the access type would be public only client protocol is open id connect because we are dealing with oidc right standard flow enabled and everything now here comes the part which is a mandatory field valid redirect urls now you have seen right when you do a login with key clock right you can uh, you have seen my other videos where i am doing a login with the linkedin right long login with google right so what is happening right when you are delegating your authentication right and authorization so from app a right so for example if i am building a fintech app right or i am building some photo sharing app right and i am asking the user to sign in with google so that i can access the photos so what will happen when the user click on login with google it will go to google servers google authorization server once it is authenticated and authorized right it needs to come back to this application right and this coming back of the application is called redirect urls that we need to set it at the authorization server so that when my authentication and authorization is successful the flow should come back to the URL which I have specified in my application OIDC or OAuth application. Okay. So now we'll take this example, right? So I am saying that for this client, this is my redirect URL. Okay. Uh, I'm saying localhost 3000 slash CB, right? CB is for callback. So most like it has different uh, terminologies that are used, right? Instead of redirect URLs, you can say callback URL. So that will be callback here. So I'll save it, right? Now this 3000 localized 3000, nothing is running. Just want to show you, right? How your uh, authorization server returns back the code to you, right? So access co uh, authorization code, okay? so i'll share this url with you so basically this is just your authorization code flow where with the this is auth slash auth is your key clock authorization url and i am saying response type is code client id is the what client id i have created and along with that i am passing the code challenge method uh, which i am using plain right now for the demo and the code challenge is this uh, some string and I'm giving redirect URI. Now let's try to open. Okay. So this site can't be reached. That is fine because nothing is running on localhost 3000 yet. The only purpose is that it has came back with the code. This is the authorization code. Right. Now just think about this that the same fintech application, right? which has created an O2 app now want the flow to come back to some other URL as well. Right. Suppose it has some other application which is running on port 5000. The second app. Now see what will happen. If we try to open this page, it will say invalid parameter redirect URI because this redirect URI is not known to the authorization server and it will not return back because the redirect URI is unknown. So what we can do, right? We can copy this URL, right? Go to key clock admin 
and in the valid redirect URLs, we can add this one as well. Let's save it. Now, this let's take this start the authorization code flow again. Yeah, so now this time this flow was successful because the URL was added. Okay. Now think about a scenario where this URL only, right? Localhost 3000. Now I have one other callback URL where I want to be redirected once the uh, validation is successful, right? So again, right? Invalid redirect URL. But so key clock and other OIDC servers, right? They support the wildcard search as well. So for example, if I am saying, right, I'm saying, right, if we give a star slash a star, that means it should accept all the URLs, which is having localhost 3000. And after that, it could be anything. Okay, so that it will save us in the scenario where we are registering the um, the application domain, right? And then we are saying, okay, if you are having this application domain, you can return it to any valid uh, URL after that, URI after that, okay? Now let's try to hit this again. So now we are success getting the success uh, and got the authorization code. Now in this, I can do anything, right? I can just write hello and CV, right? Now it should not complain about anything and it should return back the flow with the authorization code. Yeah. So you can see, right? This your redirection URL is changing and we are getting the authorization code back to us. And using this authorization code, I can use the token API to generate the access token and ID token as it. So that was all about this video. Let me know in the comments if you have any specific questions. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.